Okay, today we're going to look at Microsoft Project 2013. 2013 is a radical change on Project up to this point. Up to this point, we've had a desktop-based application that looks like a desktop-based application. This is the start screen or splash screen for Project 2013. 2013 is more based on the web-based version of 365. In this screen, you can see that I can view all the recent projects I've been working on or playing with. You can see I can open other projects down the bottom or I can create a blank project, create a project from an existing project or do various other activities including the use of all these built-in templates which project has given me access to with many more to be found online. I can sign in to Microsoft Project Online and get the most out of project. But today we're going to have a look at creating a blank project so I'm going to double click this and it launches Project 2013. Now I've already partially customised this screen that it launches which is called the Gantt chart screen by adding in this view bar. And I did that by right clicking down the side here and it lets me access all the different views. If I untick view bar it goes away and if I right click here again I can add it back. I'm sort of familiar with view bar from very earlier versions of project right up to the current version but the views are also available up here in this section. So this is just a thing that I feel I enjoy having switched on. You don't necessarily need to have it. We're in the Gantt chart view initially but project up here looks now slightly more like project 2010 and if we're in the Gantt chart table we can see we've got a tasks tab, a resources tab, a reports tab, a project tab, a view tab, and a format tab. All these tabs are very familiar to 2010 and the format tab has appeared because I'm in the Gantt chart view and it's the Gantt chart tools format tab. If I go to another view like calendar view it's the calendar view format tab. So these are dynamically generated depending on which view you're actually in. The other thing that's arrived is the file menu. The file menu gives us access to what's called the backstage view of the project we're working on in this info section. It allows us to manage accounts if we're working online. It lets us show information about the project we're working on currently and it lets us into something called Organizer which is Microsoft Project's global template which is its brain. We can go in here and we can add in calendars to the project we're working on and get them to remember it. Here I've added in ITTP calendar so I can use it in various projects up to this point and I can also close this down when I'm finished so I can cancel that. The arrow takes me straight back into the Gantt chart view or the last view I was in and this allows me to open new existing save, save as various project options and in here if we look we can save it to various locations as well. So the OneDrive on the cloud with SharePoint onto our computer or we can add in another place or I can browse to where I want to save it and again this takes me to anything connected to this computer where I can save it. The other thing it allows me to do is it allows me to save it as various versions of project. So I can save it as a project plan which is the current version of 2013 or a 2007 version or a 2000 to 2003 version or an Excel spreadsheet, a PDF document and so on which is very very useful and very helpful as well to be able to back save. So I'm going to close that down just now and we're going to go back to the Gantt chart view. The Gantt chart view has in the task tab which is the one you'll be launched into the input table on the left is normal and the Gantt chart will draw itself on the right and we have all the things on our ribbons if you're familiar with 10 that you've had on 10 uh, that allow us to tweak things. The new thing we have again that arrived in 10 wasn't there up to 10 is this timeline view that will show us the Gantt chart as a lineal progression. Again I feel this gets in the way slightly so what I do is I go to the view and I untick it here and it disappears. It also has its own view down here so you can launch it and play with it at any time but I find it gets in the way of my Gantt chart view. The other thing to be aware of is if you're up here on these tabs at the top of the ribbons is if you double click one it hides the ribbons and gives you more screen space. Some people panic with that as they think well I seem to have lost them 
But if you go back up and click again, they come back. But they don't come back permanently because as soon as you click down, they go away again. To get them back permanently, you click on it and then double click on it and it locks it in place. And now they will stay there again and I can use them as and when I want to. So that's a slight intro into the changes that have arrived in 2013. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, look for more soon.